Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the second set of the block and I'm pretty excited for this set. I kind of want to know what's in it. It could be either very very good or very very bad. So I'll give you some details about the second set. Uh, it looks pretty, I mean I hope it's pretty good but who knows. The picture is pretty epic. Uh, obviously we got a Nissa, we got a Jace, we got a Chandra, we got um, what I assume is a Gideon. And then another green planeswalker. So who is that green planeswalker? And where is like Sor Sorin, Ugin? Like what's going on, right? Anyway, um, I'm very excited for the new set. I feel like it will be pretty good. It's called Oath of the Gatewatch. It will be released sometime in January. January 16th to 17th will be the pre-release events. And the actual release date is the second, 22nd of January. Sealed format will be for Oath of the Gatewatch and two Battle for Zendikar packs. So uh, we're going to go into a block, and this will be the first time that this set is only two, or we have only two sets in the block. And that's going to be very interesting because your card pull, I assume, is going to be far less because you don't have that last minor set. Anyway, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. And the reason I like this particular one is they, they have to do a good job making this set Oath of the Gatewatch. They have to make sure this set is as good, if not even better, than Battle for Zendikar. And the reason this is the case, you're starting a new year. So Hasbro, you know, Hasbro is all about that money, right? All about that money. That's why we have Expedition, right? Why else do you think we have like a 404 or Fetch Land or Shock Land or Late Land that's going to cost, you know, upwards of $500? I, I don't know. May No one has no idea. I don't. I should make a video about what I believe the prices are and it would be funny because no one has any idea what the prices are going to be because nothing like this has ever happened before. I guess the closest example is the full art foil mutable. But even that's not really a great example because when you look at a, at a fetch land that has much more utility than a mutable. Mutable I don't think I don't like mutable. I love mutable. As a speculation it's okay right now but it's not a uh, full art foil misty rainforest so we will see i i really do like the concept that they are kicking it up and printing money i mean full art lands all that stuff i mean that's all interesting to me and i kind of i kind of like that they are doing it but i would much rather prefer that they do it at like not some foil mythic rarity i prefer they do it at regular rarity maybe like from now on we can have packs where uh, and just like Dragon Maze, instead of the land slot, you can get like a fetch land or a shock land, and you can't just play them. You can play them in modern, but and you can draft them, but you cannot play them in, let's say, like standard at the time. I think they solved the problem, and I feel like that's a big step. But we will see. We will see. Like Expedition in Oath of the Gatewatch could be a possibility. I could see the filter lands as well as the other set, the enemy late lands. And then maybe, uh, if I say filter lands, what other lands would you guys want to see as an expedition, if you will? <laughs> if we are lucky enough to get one of them. I'm going to try my best to get one of them in camera as fast as I can. And that would be interesting. But again, to get that many packs that early is not probably feasible.